Hi, this is Ajit here. In this video, we will discuss about a DNA sequencing technique called the sanger colson's enzymatic method, sometimes called the chain termination method. This method is based on synthesizing an N-labeled strand of DNA from a primer annual to a template and terminating the strand at one of the four nucleotides. The enzymatic method of sequencing DNA produces an array of fragments where each fragment differs from the one larger and the one smaller than it by a single nucleotide. Here the fragments are synthesized enzymatically in four reaction mixtures up to a particular nucleotide. This particular nucleotide is decided by the DDNTPs that is dideoxynucleotide triphosphates incorporated into the reaction mixture. This dideoxynucleotide triphosphates or DDNTPs has no 3' moist group when compared to DNTP or deoxynucleotide triphosphates. The 3' moist group is where another nucleotide may be added during strand synthesis that is during the formation of a phosphodiester bond. In this method, the terminator or DDNTPs are mixed with the corresponding deoxynucleotide in a proportion that allows the terminator to be incorporated randomly in at least one in each of the sites for the particular nucleotide. Upon completion of the reaction, each reaction mixture thus contains DNA fragments of different lengths that represent DNA template being sequenced starting from an identical end which is radio labeled and ending in each base where the reaction will be stopped preferentially using the DDNTPs. After that, the gel is run, autoradiographed and interpreted as we have seen in the chemical sequencing method or the maximal Gilbert method. The link to that video is given in the description. As we have discussed earlier, the reactions are carried out in four aliquots of small volumes in microfuse tubes or vials. So there has to be four vials or append of tubes or microfuse tubes or whatever is used. The enzymatic synthesis or dideoxynucleotide chain termination method requires five major components in each reaction mixture. The components are a short primer, a pure single stranded DNA template, one of the four dideoxynucleotide terminators that is either a DDTTP, DDATP, DDGTP or DDCTP. The four DNTPs are also needed for which some are P32 labeled in each reaction mixture. A DNA polymerase without 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease activity is also needed. The short primer should be between 30 to 80 kb in size. The primer may be a nick translated oligonucleotide or a short restriction fragment. The primer is usually purified by fractionating on a polyacrylamide gel followed by eluting from the gel by the electrocution technique. Then the eluted DNA is passed through DEAE cellulose column. The primers may be concentrated by cold ethanol precipitation and are stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius in an appropriate buffer. The template DNA or the DNA to be sequenced is usually cloned in a lambda vector system. The lambda DNA has regions rich in cytosine by adding uracil and guanidine, the strands with more cytosine residues is made heavier than the other. The two strands are dissociated and separated by cesium chloride density gradient centrifugation and are pooled in separate tubes. Messing's M13 phase based method simplifies the labor intensive procedure for obtaining single stranded templates for enzymatic synthesis. This will be discussed later in another video. The dideoxynucleotide terminators and deoxynucleotides are added in each reaction mixture in a given proportion. One of the deoxynucleotides are P32 labeled. The dideoxynucleotide that is to compete with its deoxynucleotide version is kept at a higher concentration with respect to the cognate deoxynucleotide. The chain to be stopped at A have deoxyadenine as a terminator Likewise, it is done for other nucleotides as well. The polymerase used is usually a cleaner fragment or avian reverse transcriptase 
and appropriate alterations in the buffers and proportions of DNTPs are also made based on the enzyme used. Both the polymerase lacks 5' to 3' exonuclease activity. The lack of this 5' to 3' exonuclease activity prevents degradation of the primer from the 5' end. First, the primer is annealed to a template. The primer and the single-stranded DNA template are boiled in a mixture and transferred to an oven at 60 degrees Celsius. Boiling dissociates the double-stranded primer and one of the strands of the primer hybridizes with the template at 60 degrees Celsius. The operation is performed in small capillary tubes that are sealed after filling with the primer and the template mixtures. Now four reaction mixtures are prepared with unique terminator in each. The primer template mixture is added to this together with DNA polymerase and incubated at 18 to 27 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. The reaction is stopped and the mixture is loaded into a sequencing gel. The primer may be removed after placing the mixture in the gel by cleaving with a restriction enzyme. The site for which is stored at the 3' end of the primer as the strand synthesis begins. Again, we will discuss how the sequence is read from the autoradiograph in yet another video which will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and share.